Do you think Jesus would tweet? Yes, I think Jesus would tweet things that would pick people up. Really? And not bring them down. So you think Jesus would have a Twitter account? I think you'd have a Twitter account. Uh, well, there's this great article that we found in the Washington Post recently that talks about millennials and kind of what they're looking for in a church. You know, as we know, yeah. um, a lot of young people are leaving the church, right? There's a growing amount of people with, and they've kind of called them the nuns because yes. they, they don't really affiliate with any sort of faith. They're questioning, they're leaving uh, the church, they're leaving God. And how are you going to connect with them? That's exactly. a big question. And so what have churches done, Mike? You're a pastor. You've seen how, you know, a a lot of churches have have the cool music. Well, and you know, we try different things because pastors really do want to connect, and and I understand that from a pastor's point of view. Yeah. I thought I was being really uh, creative when I would say, "Let's do questions at the end oh, and yeah. text them to me on my cell phone." Yeah. And then I get a lot of smart Alex. But uh, <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, well, a lot of churches are doing it, but 67% of millennials prefer the classic, and classic yes. is in quotations, church over the trendy one. So they're, you know, they don't care if you serve lattes and mac macchiatos and, you know, whatever at your church and you, you know, come in with jeans. They actually want the classic church. When they come into a church atmosphere, they want, uh, they want authenticity. Okay, so I hear all that. Yeah. And I know it's the stats. I disagree. Okay, why? Yeah. Well, because as a pastor, I've been watching this and while they say, you know, we want something real and yeah. I agree with that. They're looking for something that's not phony, not fake. Yeah. That's still a big part of their makeup and they want the macchiato just as much as you and I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so I've you... never seen them turn it down when okay. you offer it to them. So you agree, you disagree with the millennial that says that they don't want these things. Oh, they're happy if it's all around the edges. Yeah, okay. But you know, people are searching deeper because they know there has to be something else. So I'll go, I'll go with it Well, this was way. written by Rachel Held Evans, who um, is a big blogger out there, Christian blogger. Mm -hmm. And she talks about her, how her journey kind of happened. She's a millennial and she uh, left the church and it was really coming back to wanting uh, what only the church could offer. And so it's her personal story. She, she says, you know, the church offers prayer. They offer the sacraments. They offer things that make them the church. And those are important things. And those are those very are important. And so for her, she thinks that, yeah, while you're trying to be all trendy, maybe it's just focusing on what you do and do it well. And I think that's I think that's a good takeaway. I think drawing whatever you them in, do, do it well. Yeah, drawing them into those moments is important. Yeah. That's very important.